Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is going to be another one in the Drotectives fan art dice series. So if you don't know what I'm doing, I am making a set of dice based on different characters from the series Drotectives. If you haven't checked out the series, it's a YouTube series. A bunch of artists are playing a D&D &D kind of game together. I'll leave a link in the description if you want to go check it out. This video, I'm going to be making a set of dice based on the character York, played by Jacob. I went for colors that I associate with them, which is green and brown. I went for more of a simple design. I just wanted little spots of brown and little spots of green because let's face it, York is kind of a simple guy. <laughs> You might notice that the molds I'm using don't have any numbers on them, and that's because these are blanks. What we're gonna do is we're going to make these blanks, we're gonna cure them, uh, we'll have our dice that don't have any numbers on them, and then I'm going to do some stuff to those blanks before putting them into the die themselves. So I know I mentioned that York's kind of simple, but also in season two, he's apparently become some sort of like fashion model or something like that. So I had to go a little bit fashion. I wanted simple, but also fashion. And also he's kind of a barbarian kind of character. So I wanted like a blood spatter, splatter, blood spatter. I really don't know what the difference is between blood splatter or blood spatter. Anyways, I wanted a sort of blood spatter effect on the dice just to match that kind of barbarianness. So I decided if I wanted to go classy that I was gonna do like little spatters of gold on the dice. I decided to go with colors that weren't shimmery for the green and the brown so that the gold would stand out more against them. This is kind of a fun if messy effect you can see uh, the red underneath there from where I've done it in the past with, with a bunch of red paint on a set of commission dice from a while ago. It, it's, you get, you end up with paint everywhere, but basically you just put a bunch of paint on the end of a very stiff paintbrush and then kind of like flick it on there. You can flick it on there with your fingers too. But we went and let that paint dry, and then we put them into the mold with just some clear resin to seal in all of that paint. I coated the blanks in resin before putting them in the molds to hopefully prevent air getting trapped in the numbers. I suppose I could have brought in the yellowish color from his hair more, or the red from his sash, but I'll be honest, I didn't even look up reference images. I kind of just went off of vibes and memory for the colors. That does mean that I am now realizing that his skin tone's a little bit more of a minty color than the green that I chose, but I feel like it still works. It still matches the green and brown look that I was going for.
All right, we'll put the lids on, we'll get those into the pressure pot, and then let them sit for 24 hours before we come back and unmold them. So I fixed my blanks now, but at the time that I made these dice, they were a little bit too big, which means that the sides of the dice bowed out a little bit, so I had to sand down like all of the sides so that they were flat, which was a process. But I won't make you sit through all that, we'll just come back here while I am painting in the numbers. I wanted to kind of stick with the just simple theme of green and brown, kind of go with the colors that he wears and the colors that he is. So I went for a very dark brown for the numbers. I wanted something that would stand out, but was still brown. I don't know, I've had an Id the idea of doing dark brown numbers for this set since I started them really. I don't know why, but I, I just decided to stick with that plan and I kind of like how it turned out. It's a little bit different maybe from how I would normally do things, but I think it works. I think if I made them again, I might might make the brown slightly different, maybe a little bit warmer or a little bit darker. It ended up a little bit kind of cool tone and maybe a little bit light. I also did a little bit of the gold spatter on the D2, so the coin there. I did it into the symbol instead of onto the die. And I'll be honest, it's because I forgot to do it on the die. <laughs> but I think I actually like it better this way. It turned out really cool. I feel like if you're looking at the dice, you don't even notice the fact that the gold is in the number of that one, as opposed to the other dice where it's over the green and the brown. It, it just kind of worked out, to be honest. Overall, I think they ended up being pretty good. Nice and simple for the character, a little bit of fashion with that gold, and a little bit of a splatter of something just to, to bring in that barbarianness. So yeah, thanks for hanging out. I want to go ahead and thank my patrons for supporting me so I can do stuff like this, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!